Mm. All right, so the change of season doesn't mean that you actually have to say goodbye to great color in your garden. You just need to pick things that can handle the incoming 30s and 40s. Yeah, I'm talking about tomorrow morning. So I met up with Peter Mezzet from Western Nurseries for some great ideas. Oh, Peter, I can feel that fall is in the air, and I guess that means that we've got a spruce upper outside, huh? Yeah, yeah, we do. This is, fall is my favorite time at the garden center here because it's so colorful. You look at these plants, these uh, asters and these mums, and these are just a few small samples of what the colors are that they come in, just but every color. But that's the thing. Sometimes you think fall and you think only jewel tones, but these are such pretty pops of color, even though we're entering autumn. Yeah, yeah, and people do put them in pots, and they last all the way through well into November before the cold, cold frost. I was going to say they're them. hardy. They can take a little bit of frost. They're called hardy mums, but they're not hardy in New England for the winter time. Uh-huh. Well, very little is. All right, now these are funky and cool, and I've actually seen you bring these to the studio in our outdoor scape, and I was like, am I supposed to eat those? What's the you deal with You don't eat these? them. Okay. They're ornamental peppers. Uh, I suppose you could eat them, but no one eats Let's them. Let's not. <laughs> and they really are, again, all different colors, and um, uh, they spruce up the container plantings, which I'll show you in a minute, and just add color excitement to the fall. Okay, now let's go to the veggies. Is that we what got we a few. Call it? Oh, this is a veggie. <laughs> this is actually an ornamental too. It can be used as an ornamental. This is um, Swiss chard. So if you get real hungry, you can eat it. Boils down. Again, next to let's nothing. not. <laughs> yeah, but it's a nice ornamental plant, and this is uh, millet, which is kind of in the corn family. And uh, annual grasses here. These won't survive the winter, but okay. great again in container plantings. And then kale. Oh, hundreds of varieties Look at of that kale. color purple. That's a deep purple. That's beautiful. And then I instantly recognize the rosemary. The rosemary is great. I mean, you can put this outside. Some winters it will survive. Uh, last winter it didn't in well, my last yard. Last winter was a terrible winter. It was very cold. So we recommend that you actually bring this inside for the winter okay. time. Okay. That and one I might shows. actually break off a little piece. Oh, it go. smells so good. I, I know. know. I love that. And oh, this is and this just is a how demonstration you them, huh? of you know what you can spend thirty, forty, fifty dollars on and get pre-made at a garden center, or do this yourself at home. But you're basically taking a lot of things I just showed you and cramming them into a pot. And with that said, I see that we have a little. Um, is this a pumpkin? What's this little guy? These We've got little, little pumpkins baby here. Pumpkins, and I wanted to show you more. How I mean, cool the are ordinary these? pumpkin is no longer the exciting thing. Look at these things. These are squashes. That uh, again, hundreds of different varieties. Some of them look like brain tissue for God's sakes. <laughs> That's what I thought too. My, my daughter saw some of these at um, the garden center the other day and she goes, what's wrong with those pumpkins? I was like, no, no, they're just cool and different and, yeah. and really neat and right and a little brainy. A little brainy on that one. <laughs> so moving over to here, these are more uh, permanent plants, perennials. I showed okay. you everything that was annuals. They will not survive the winter, but you can really get a lot of color in the fall with your perennial plants. These are two types of sedum, for example. Okay. So you put these in your yard, and every year they look like this great fall color. Oh, that's fantastic. And these are a little, is this a variety just of the ornamental grasses? These are big guys. Yeah, fountain grass and a um, Shenandoah grass, which has a lot of the red, so I wanted to show that one. Many different types of grasses. This is when they're in their splendor, is in the fall time. With grasses, you don't want to plant them too late, probably no later than the middle of October because okay. they won't fully root in. You want to enjoy them too, of course. And then these, is this lasting color? Is this going to carry us through the fall? Again, more perennials. These are shrub perennials. These are the, the winter berries. Um, just a spectacular berry set that goes well into the winter. If the birds don't get them, they can go into February, even March. And uh, this one's called beauty berry. Many people don't know about this one, but it's got these clusters of purple berries. It's a five to six it. foot shrub that really is showy in the fall time. Yeah, super pretty. All right, some great ideas there, Peter. As always, thank you so much. Great You're stuff there, and you know where to go find them. Western Nurseries has locations in both Hopkinton and in Chelmsford, and now we want to send it out to Lily on the